Well, here we are, Summer Olympics in Tokyo, now only 51 days away, and many athletes are still working hard just to qualify. But even those who already did qualify continue to train, knowing their moment is getting closer and closer. 51 days. Yep. Olympic specialist Alex Cabrero introduces us to a rower who lives and trains here in Salt Lake City, but whose heart is on the other side of the world. People often come to the Great Salt Lake for the views. It is beautiful. And it's not uncommon to see boats out on the water. When it is flat, you can just go and go and go and go. But this rower is unique. Kathleen Noble is the only rower from Uganda who will be in this summer's Tokyo Olympics. It means a lot to represent the Ugandan rowing community um, because rowing is a pretty new sport in Uganda. It started in 2009. <laughs> Noble was born in Uganda. Her father was a missionary doctor, her mother a missionary nurse. They stayed and Noble went to school there. She moved to Salt Lake City for her career as well as to work in the outdoor therapy field. But her true love is rowing. She qualified for the Olympics last year, only for the Tokyo Games to be postponed because of COVID. And at that point, I was like, no. <laughs> like, it's just been so much time and so much effort and so much uncertainty. She took a break for a little bit, but when she found out she would keep her Olympic spot, she started training even harder. 30 strokes or so and then turn around and come back. Her coach says this year she's even stronger, and she gained a boatload of confidence at the Indoor World Championships a few months ago. There were people that she was racing against that she did not think that she could beat uh, and she had rowed against them before. So when she beat them that was a good marker on training that you know she is on the right track. Noble also trains in the Jordan Surplus Canal with the Utah Crew Club to push her even further. But most of all she's just proud to be an Olympian, the first Olympic rower in Ugandan history. And when she competes in Tokyo this summer, she knows a lot of people in her home country will be watching, including maybe the next Olympic rower. I think it is inspiring to them to see it, uh, see somebody from Uganda who's representing them at the Olympics. And I hope that kind of inspires that dream in them to be able to compete. A lot of people in Utah will be cheering for her too. Alex Cabrero, KSO5 News.